Good morning. It is July 14th. I am officially two weeks into my plastic free July experiment, uh, adventure, whatever we're going to call it. So I just wanted to do a video check in with you just to let you know how things have been going and uh, what's been happening. So yeah, let's do it. The word so far that I would use to describe my experience here is accountability. And that's probably been the number one thing that uh, I've realized in terms of a, a change within myself is that I just feel more accountable. I have been, as I, as I said in the previous video where I explained exactly what I was going to be doing this July, uh, I told you I was going to be saving any plastic that I ended up using from things that were already in the house that I'd already purchased that were already in plastic containers. So I was gonna be saving those. Uh, I said that I wasn't going to purchase anything that was packaged in plastic. And um, so here we are two weeks into it. And it, as I said, it's about accountability. So I've been saving the plastic from items that I've used that I already had. Uh, and of course, because I'm not perfect, there are things that I purchased that uh, did come in plastic or things that were purchased for me. So uh, I wanna divide this video up into three sections. So uh, it's sort of the good, the bad, and the ugly, but let's do it in reverse and start with the ugly. The, then we'll go to the bad and then we'll go to the good. So in terms of the ugly, the ugly category here is for the items that I purchased that were in plastic during this month of July, during these first two weeks. So, and as I said, it's all about accountability here as well. Um, I've saved these items, saved the packaging, and there is a guilt that comes with it when you're being conscious of what it is that you're purchasing. And, I don't know if it's in the moment when you purchase something you really, really want to say, I know, I know it is in plastic and I shouldn't, and it's plastic free July, and I swore that I wasn't going to, but I really, really want this thing. Uh, and then you hold on to the plastic and you're, you're, you're stuck with this reminder of your purchase. And you, you're also left with this plastic item that even though you only got maybe your 30 minutes of enjoyment out of the product that was inside of it, this plastic is going to be living on for who knows how long, definitely longer than me. So uh, just being um, conscious of that and, and being accountable for for that, and uh, it, it's really kind of just, um, it's, it's a lot. So uh, I wanna show you some of the things that I uh, had to purchase that were in plastic that are the, the ugly aspect of this journey. So um, one of them is this. Starbucks. I have my own cups. I have my own uh, water cup or water water bottle. I have my own like coffee cup. But on two occasions, I was near a Starbucks, and uh, well, well, one occasion I was near a Starbucks, and I got a drink, and I did get it without the straw. So I, I thought that was a benefit. Uh, the other time was I was having kind of a stressful day. I was working on my computer. Things weren't going my way. Ben was nice enough to go to Starbucks and he purchased me a pink drink, which is kind of amazing. I gave him crap for this idea of a pink drink, but it's, it's amazing. And he was nice enough to bring me one back. Uh, it was in this cup, the straw. So even though I got a few moments of pleasure out of it and it greatly improved my uh, emotional state at that time, uh, I'm stuck with this cup. Sure, I can recycle most of it. Here in Las Vegas, we can actually recycle, I believe, up to number seven. So most of this is going to be able to be recycled. The cup, uh, I can't see it in this light here, but uh, I believe the cup and the lid should be able to be recycled. I know that this straw cannot be. So uh, this is definitely part of the ugly. Also, I got a bit sick. Ben was nice enough to go to the store, purchase me some Gatorade. Again, it very much helped. I don't have any regrets about the feeling that the product inside gave me. However, uh, again, I'm stuck with this plastic. It is a one, should be able to be recycled, but um, again, just that accountability of like, you gotta balance out, is it worth it? In that moment, uh, it was, and I, and I really wanted this and it helped, and uh, I'm accountable for it, I guess. Chipotle, guacamole comes in these cups. Uh, again, it was another time we were kind of out. It was there. Um, I wasn't necessarily going to get it. Ben ordered it for me. And 
now I have these plastic cups. Again, they are ones, they should be able to be recycled, so I don't feel too, too guilty, but uh, again, it's, it's the ugly. I broke my rule of plastic free July. Uh, the next thing is this really, really bad. <laughs> again, I, I wanted to try them in the moment. Uh, it was a cost benefits analysis and this one out again, a few minutes of enjoyment. Is it worth that this cannot be recycled? I cannot do anything with this other than put it into a landfill. And, uh, there is an amount of guilt that goes there. And, uh, I, you know, I could make my own chips. There's a lot that I could do in the moment. Uh, I bought these and they were delicious. But in terms of that, I also have these box of animal crackers and this plastic in there. I don't really need to explain myself uh, on there, but out of two weeks, that's the plastic that I have accumulated. Uh, that is my ugly that I purchased, even though I said I wasn't going to purchase anything in any sort of plastic containers. So uh, I don't think that's too, too bad. I think I've definitely cut down on what I would normally have purchased, but it is not sticking strictly to the rules that I set up for myself. So hopefully the second half of the month, I can look at this, um, have the accountability of the fact that, you know what, this bag isn't going away. Was it really worth it for you? So we have two more weeks to try to uh, improve. So that's the ugly. In terms of the bad, there is a lot more bad, but I feel like the bad here in these first two weeks uh, will be kind of transitioned out during the second two weeks. So the bad, uh, these are the items that I had on hand in my house that I said that I was going to use because they were already purchased. It would be worse to let them go to waste. And some of the things were perishable. Not everything was perishable, but in the end, I had already purchased it. I have to be accountable for the product that is uh, in there and the packaging that it's in because I'd already purchased that. So some of these items here, I don't have a nice setup yet here, but uh, pasta bags. Uh, I did purchase some cashews a while ago that was in a bag. The deodorant um, comes in plastic, some frozen French fries, and uh, a friend came over and he was actually nice enough. Uh, I do have another actually uh, ugly. It's this uh, cup from Taco Bell. He was nice enough as he came over, uh, invited a friend over. Hey, come, I've, it's uh, near the 4th of July. I've got some Beyond Burgers. Come over, I'll grill them up. I actually made my own buns, which is a good thing. Uh, but he came over and nice guy brought me a sl uh, slush drink from Taco Bell. Um, I drink it, but again, this is something that I have to be accountable for. So these things I had on hand already in the freezer, they were uh, Beyond Burgers and sausages. I'm forgetting the brand name now, but I had them in the freezer. Uh, but you know, I, I think I can recycle some of these, but there's a lot of this plastic that can't be recycled. Uh, it's still a bad, but it was part of my original uh, set of rules that I could use things that I had on hand. One thing that um, this Tetra pack here is technically plastic. It's plastic and paper and other things. Uh, here in Vegas, we can actually recycle Tetra packs. So I don't feel terribly guilty about it, but I do still consider this to be plastic because it does contain plastic. So this was part of the uh, bad. Think of other items. An agave bottle. My contacts come in a plastic container. So when I put on a new pair of contacts this month, I needed to obviously save these for that. Spices, there are a few spices that I purchased that come in bags. They're in bulk and I'm able to use them a lot more than I would just like a single um, spice container, but still it comes in plastic bags. I use this bag up, not recyclable. And a bottle of vinegar, which had a plastic cap, even though the rest of the bottle was glass. Big thing, laundry detergent, ran out. Um, I also am almost out of dishwasher detergent and um, I'm good on uh, laundry detergent. I had purchased some before, but uh, I had tried to make my own. It didn't really work. So that's about, uh, I do have a couple more things. Promise I'm not hiding a bunch of stuff on the floor here. Uh, these two bags here 
are from packaging. This one is from a paper shredder, and this one is from a compost pail. So that'll lead me into the good area. So in terms of the good, what I can congratulate myself for doing is when I've gone to the store, I've purchased fruits, vegetables, produce, all in my own bags. Um, I purchased flour to be able to make bread. I made a loaf of sandwich bread. I've made English muffins. I purchased a uh, container of yeast that was in glass with a metal lid without any plastic seal on it. So I've made those changes. I've been composting. I created my own compost bin in the backyard and uh, I purchased the paper shredder so that I could uh, shred boxes and papers and use that as the brown material in my compost. So even though that plastic that I just showed you was in the bad because I did purchase things that did have, uh, that was plastic, even though I said that I wasn't, I do feel like the benefit that I will be getting from that plastic um, will be beneficial because now I'm able to compost and be more efficient with that process. So trying to make my own things at home also like soy milk and almond milk. And it's just been really good to be kind of self-sustaining. And the, the bag that I purchased the flour in was compostable. It was a paper bag, so I was able to just shred that up. So there are good things that are happening. And I would say for the most part, I am able to avoid plastic. So there is a lot of good. And I do think the second half of this month, again, because I feel like most of the plastic items that I did have already purchased are on their way out. Uh, sort of like the lighting here. I <laughs> hope it stays consistent. Uh, but the plastic that I already had is on its way out. It's just going to be more accountable for what I do purchase and restate again here that I don't want to purchase any items that are in single use plastic. So just be more conscious. If I do decide I really need that Starbucks pink drink, just to make sure that I have my cup with me. Uh, I did go to a restaurant that normally has plastic uh, forks and paper cups and plastic straws. And I did have my own little set of forks and knives and straws and napkins in my glove box. So when I went there, I was able to use that. So um, there is a lot of good and just being aware of what I am doing. So feeling, feeling like this is a little bit long winded here, but uh, the ugly, yes, there were things that I purchased that were in plastic. I don't feel great about it, but I'm trying. The bad stuff that I already have, it's on its way out. Um, I'll do what I can in order to recycle the things that I, that, I, um, that I did use, but I won't be purchasing anything to replace those products. And the good, I am making a lot of my own items. Um, it is a bit difficult, you know, like if I want chips, I'm gonna have to make tortillas that I can then turn into chips. If I want uh, milk, soy milk, I'm out of it right now, I need to make it. Uh, people have asked me for a video, so I'll probably film when I do make that, but it's like, okay, well, I'm out of milk. Now I need to remake it. Uh, it's it's a little bit more work, which can be a bad, but overall I think it is a good thing. And I do enjoy my homemade products, like my milks and breads and things like that. So I'll keep you posted on the status of this. Um, I also filmed a short little video where I went to a farmer's market. Uh, we do have farmer's markets here in town, even though they have very limited um, items, but I was able to pick up some things here, which I used actually in my upcoming recipe video that'll be out on Monday. So. That's my update. Uh, let me know what you all think, how you all are doing as well during this journey through Plastic Free July. If you've also had some struggles, if you've given up, um, I definitely haven't given up. So I will check in with you very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.